Hello, I am the Hollow One, and today for you I have another scary story called Carmen Winstead. Carmen Winstead was a 17 year old girl when her parents decided to move to Indiana. Her father had lost his job, and the only way he could find new employment was by moving to a new state. The relocation caused a lot of problems for Carmen. She had to leave her friends behind and attend a whole new school in Indiana. Carmen had a hard time making friends when she changed schools. It was in the middle of the year, and most students had no interest in befriending the new girl. Initially, she spent most of her days walking from class to class by herself without speaking to anyone. But eventually, she started hanging around a group of five girls. Carmen thought these girls were her friends, but it wasn't long before she discovered they had been talking behind her back and spreading rumors. When she confronted them, the girls turned on her and began bullying her, every day making her life miserable. They started out calling her names, but then the bullying got much worse. One day, she left her school books in the classroom at break time. When she returned, she found someone had, a sh had taken a sharpie and written dirty words all over the books. Another day, she opened her bag to discover someone had poured yogurt all over the insides. Sometimes she would come to school and find her locker had been vandalized. The final straw came when she put on her coat at recess and found someone had stuffed dog poop in her pockets. There and then, Carmen decided that she couldn't take the bullying any longer. She planned to stay behind that evening after school and tell the teacher what had happened. Unfortunately, her decision came too late to save her life. After lunch, the teacher announced that the school was holding a fire drill. When the alarm sounded, Carmen and the other students filed out of the classroom and assembled in the yard outside. As the teachers read out the roll call, the gang of five girls decided that it was a great opportunity to embarrass Carmen in front of the whole school during the fire drill. They moved out. Oh, they moved over to where Carmen was standing near a sewer drain and began crowding the poor girl, getting in her face and nudging her towards the open manhole. They pushed her and she tripped over and fell head first down the manhole. When they saw her falling, the girls started giggling. And when Carmen's name was called out, they shouted, she's down the sewer. All of the other students began laughing, but when the teachers looked down the manhole, saw Carmen's lying, body lying at the bottom of the muck and poop. The laughter abruptly stopped. Her head was twisted around at an eye angle and her face was covered in blood. Worse still, she wasn't moving. There was nothing any of the teachers could do for her. Carmen was dead. When the police arrived and went down into the sewer, they determined that she had broken her neck. Her face had been torn off when she hit the ladder on the way down, and her neck snapped when she landed at the bottom of the at the bottom of the manhole. The police hauled Carmen's body out of the sewer and sent her to the mortuary. Everyone had to stay behind after school when the police questioned all of Carmen's classmates. The five girls lied to the police, saying they had witnessed Carmen falling down the sewer. Police believed the girls, and Carmen Wynn said death was ruled the accident, and the case was closed. Everyone thought that was the last they would hear of Carmen Wednesday, but they were wrong. Months later, Carmen's classmates began receiving strange emails on their MySpace. The emails were titled, They Pushed Her, and claimed that Carmen hadn't fallen down the sewer she had been pushed. The emails were also warned that the guilty people who for them to own up to it and take responsibility for their crime. If they didn't, a horrible consequence would happen. Most people dismissed the emails as a hoax, but others were not sure. A few days later, one of the girls who had pushed Carmen down the sewer was taking a shower at home when she heard a strange cackling laugh. It seemed to be coming from the drain. The girl started to freak out and ran out of the bathroom. That night, the girl said goodnight to her mom and went to sleep. Five hours later, her mom was awoken in the middle of the night by a loud noise that resounded throughout the house. When she ran into her daughter's room, the only when she ran into her daughter's room, only to find it empty. There was no trace of the girl. The worried mother called the police, and when they arrived and conducted the search of the area, they couldn't find anything. But eventually, they discovered the girl's grizzled remains. Her corpse was lying in a sewer covered in muck and poop. Her neck was broken. Her face was missing. It had been completely torn off. One by one, all of the girls who pushed Carmen 
that day were found dead. They all had been killed in the exact same way and all were found in the exact same spot as Carmen. In the sewer at the bottom of the same uncovered manhole where Carmen had met her doom. But the killing didn't stop. More of Carmen's former classmates were found dead. It seemed that anyone who didn't believe Carmen had been pushed was eventually found down in the sewer with their necks broken and their faces torn off. They say Carmen's ghost is still on a rampage, hunting down anyone who doesn't believe her story. According to, le to the legend, Carmen will get you, whether it's from a toilet, a shower, a sink, or a dream. When you go to sleep, you will wake up in a sewer in complete darkness, paralyzed, unable to move, hearing cackling laughter around you. Then as you scream in horror, Carmen will come tear off your face. Now, if you like this story, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, and share. That would greatly be appreciated. And remember, forever and always, welcome to the void.